Having VST drum kits in Live's native drum rack format is a good thing, especially with Push or any of the other drum rack sequencers like LPC Live or Launchpad 95. I'm going to show you how VST drum synths and sample players can be easily embedded into a Live drum rack and used as a native drum kit in Live. I'm using contact drum kits in this tutorial, but the basic concept applies to any VST. It's also possible to tap the individual outputs of the VST in question for individual processing of drum sounds in live so you can bypass the VST's internal processing and use live effects like beat repeat and so on. An added bonus is that you can also get the sample note names to display in the MIDI editor for easy editing later after sequencing and or recording a clip. The first thing that you want to do is to load up a plain vanilla live drum rack and then drag an instance of contact or another VST into the rack. I use C-2 for the note of the contact VST so I have the rest of the notes available. Load up a drum kit in contact. Here I'll use the factory 808 kit. Next you want to go to the chain list section. And next click on the in out section button. Set the contact C-2 chain to all notes and play to C-2 so that contact will receive all incoming MIDI notes on that track. All notes is going to be at the top of the list. After that, create a chain for each drum sound in your kit. Set the receive value and the play value to the proper MIDI notes shown here at C1 and D1 for the kick and snare. Right click in the chain area and make sure that show names in MIDI editor is checked if you plan on labeling your drum kits for note display in the MIDI editor. Go through and label the individual drums such as kick, snare, and so on with the name you'd like to see in the MIDI editor. These names will show up in your MIDI clip for easy editing. In this 808 factory kit, the drum names are in individual groups making it easy to find them. Sometimes the sample names in the groups will be incoherent, so you'll just have to wing it. If you load the VST into a live drum rack, you will only be able to tap the main stereo output straight away. There's a way to tap the other available audio outs from the VST with Live's external instrument device. What you want to do is to drag a separate instance of the external instrument device onto each one of the drum sound chains that you want to tap. Here I'm going to tap the snare. This will allow you to tap into the other audio outs available on your VST. The drum sounds will default to the main stereo outs, but you can route them by choosing a different output. In my case, I have contacts set up with the maximum 32 individual outputs in 16 stereo pairs, 
So that gives me 15 additional stereo pairs, or a total of 32 mono outs if panned left and right beyond the main stereo outs. Here I'm routing the snare to a separate output, and then I'll add a simple delay on send A of the drum rack to it. If you unfold the drum rack, you'll see all the separate drums and the routings that you build, as with any native live drum rack. As you can see, building a VST drum rack from scratch is a lot of work, so you may consider having a template or two pre-built with your favorite VST drum sources to speed up the process. Ideally for VST drum racks, you'll probably want to create a drum rack with a chain for each note except C-2 and an external instrument on each chain as seen here. Be sure and have the external instrument switched to off on each drum sound when you save the default rack and switch each one on as needed. You may also want to have a default drum rack with the chains labeled to the general MIDI spec to get a jump start. As many drum kits in contact and battery and whatnot will conform to the general MIDI naming convention. You can delete the unused chains to eliminate the clutter for later and save the drum rack. As a complete example, here is Studio Drummer loaded up with external instruments on each chain and labeled with the drum names that I got from the PDF chart of the Studio Drummer mapping. I like Studio Drummer as it comes with a lot of grooves that you can use to get a track going quickly. I've also added additional MIDI grooves to the default library as shown here. Dragging a clip into the track, you can see the note names that I created for further detailed editing in the MIDI editor. Another tip is to create live VST drum racks from non-traditional drum or percussion sample sets that you'd like to step sequence. Here I have the Contact Factory Tyco drums loaded up in a live drum rack with all the drums labeled. Of course in the MIDI clip you can see the drum names for easy editing. Step sequencing percussion can be a lot of fun and yield some great results.
Well, that's about it for VSTs and live drum racks. Till next time, stay awake, stay creative. Peace.